I'm a just island boy. I'm a just island boy. I'm a get key white boy. You're gonna keep that guy. I'm a just Jeffrey Edward Epstein and my residence address is 6100 Red Hook Boulevard in Virgin Islands. One witness described your penis as oval shaped and claimed when erect it was thick towards the bottom but was thin and small towards the head portion and called it egg shaped. Those are not my words, I apologize. But as Mr. As Mr. Critton has stated, get this. The Wild Wild West. There we go. We made it. It's three island boys, Ooh, baby. A couple island boys. <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm an Epstein Island boy. <laughs> Get molested by Bill Clinton. <laughs> Probably gonna feel my cheeks. Figured by Gary Glitter. That's so. That must be hilarious when your dad like taking the weirdest requests and it's like you know like you're, you're like I need twelve year old Cambodian chicks and I'm like whatever, bro. That's meat and potatoes. They're like, what about two little <laughs> special needs wiggers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any Florida wigger twinks? <laughs> <laughs> I need some reggae tone. <laughs> 14 year old white reggae tones and they're like well, I think we can yeah. find them I don't know yeah, dude Twiggers they're on the menu you so, see it? start dude. calling around <laughs> yeah that's pretty yeah. hot you think they got parents getting up in one of them little island boys <laughs> so fucking Florida island boys <laughs> They're Where in little, Florida are they from? They're little wonder. fellas too. You could definitely. They're. Take them both. I was when I saw their pictures. You could take them both by force at the yeah. same time. <laughs> oh, dude, no problem, dude. They're from I could sea world. Do, I could do forced oral on both of those. <laughs> <laughs> Just two headlocks. Dude, <laughs> twisting my torso to whoever I desire. Yeah. It'd be. It'd be crazy. I could make them spit roast me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you back one up into the wall. Oh. You don't let him. You don't let him. You got. He's gonna try to get like lateral movement, but you gotta back him into the wall, and then you just pull the other one into you. You can do force sodomy on yourself. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's called a force sodomizer. To I, force someone to fuck you in the butt. It's crazy. Dude. I call it bottoming from the front. <laughs> Might be a, a fucking. I mean, it's, there's power bottoms. It's when you throw it back, but that's like absolute dictator bottom dude <laughs> like no you're gonna fuck me in the butt <laughs> yeah you little bitch it's the ultimate display of power it is it's 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 a pair it might be a strange loop that's the ultimate paradoxical display of power it's mm -hmm. dictator so bottom <laughs> it's kim jong <laughs> dude i'm here with motherfucking mike rainey i'm here with motherfucking Thank Tim what's up bros it's great dude. chains in california <sighs> good for him man what's yeah, he doing dude. partying no, he's uh, he's opening up for a very famous community. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot about yeah. that. Oh, yeah. The biggest news in the world. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. Sometimes. Pretty cool. Sometimes daddy has to take very important business trips, dude. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he brings us back presents. I hope so. He better come back with presents for us. I mean, a little keychain, a little mug. A does, mug. He bring, does he take like does he take like a trinket of yours and like take pictures of it on the road for you and send them back? <laughs> I wish. you know. Like an absentee father. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta take this uh, <laughs> this stuffed uh, frog to the Eiffel Tower dude, and take I'm a picture just, on a business trip. I just have my baseball glove, dude. I'm, just, I'm out front, out front every day, just toss <laughs> my fucking car to ball on my glove. <laughs> every time you hear like a car passing, it's like a quick perk up, <laughs> little Maddie. Dude, yeah, uh, be truthful. Would you get jealous? <laughs> would you get jealous if you saw an Instagram video of him in the pool with the Island Boys? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the thing I think that pushed me over the edge. I would tear this whole podcast apart just out of spite and rage. <laughs> Being like, what the fuck? I'm an island boy, dude, yeah. not you. <laughs> yeah, if you like got tatted up with him, was in the pool. Damn. My island boy. <laughs> There's I call him like, what are you doing right now? What, what are you what are you doing? Uh, no, I just when got are you this coming thing. Back? I just got this one thing I gotta do today, and then I'm probably just gonna go back to the hotel. <laughs> fuck. I'd be so, I'd be devastated, dude. If you was with the island boys. <laughs> What's their names again? It's like red something. Oh, Kodiak, Fly soldier. Kodiak Look at those two little youngsters, bro. Oh, God, Gardini, God. I appreciate you disciplining yourself with the Google. You've been uh, pigging out lately, and people were very upset. <laughs> Guard dog, you could be an island boy. 
You're built like that. Uh, <laughs> Are you saying you could force him to fuck you in the ass? <laughs> Just saying it wouldn't take much. You think you could back it up on him? Yeah. How, what, what trap? You have to set a trap. You know, they're, those little kids are rascals, bro. They're quick. Dude, I would leave a trail of M&Ms leading to my asshole. <laughs> it would, you'd have to do like one M&M, one Xanax bar. And then they would fucking... Those kids, they, lo- they strike me as a couple of fellers that love barbiturates. How old Zan- do you think they are? Gotta be 14. I mean, look at the one. Go to the one where he's looking top right, Gardini. Gardo, go to gottabe14.com. Right I feel like Soldier Boy is connected with these guys. Look at that guy. <sighs> guy loves Xanax, that's, dude. Yeah, it's... Also, how are you getting so many tattoos? These, these fellers, for the audio listeners. Dude, I promise talking about you. Two, maybe, what, 120 pound fellers? Kids look like this in high school now. It's nuts. Tats? Yeah, it's crazy. Don't you need, like, a parent to come tat you up? I don't know. Boys, dude. No I think it, there. Sure, you're International yeah. waters. True that. True that. They, they probably live in like fucking I think, Orlando. I think, I think parents are like kind of letting their kids go for it on TikTok now. They're true. Like, if you need full body tat, that's the only reason your mother I'm and I kids. are gonna have to support you. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm having kids. Mm-hmm. They better wear like fucked up eye contacts the whole time, like like glowing eyes. Yeah. My kid, if my kids don't go viral, what I'm is this? Be... Are you not on perks? <laughs> <laughs> are you not on Xanax right now? What's wrong with you? Hey, why don't you call like nine of your friends over here and stay here for like, I don't know, two years and see if you guys can start something. Let's pay this mortgage. <laughs> I learned it by watching Island Boys. All right. I'm going to pressure the shit out of my kids to go viral. If my kids don't go, go viral, viral, I'm going to be pissed, dude. Yeah. That'd be so sick. Your kid just starts making like 250K a month. Just put them in the pool in basketball shorts and don't let them out till they come up with a jingle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just take raisin my, skin. I'm gonna tap my kid's face. I'm gonna be like, yo, hold the circ. Give my kid like a teardrop and a cross. <laughs> Nine months. That baby would go viral, dude. If I tatted my baby, my baby would go viral, probably get paid. <laughs> I might do a um I might start, yeah, if I have another kid, you know, anytime soon, I might have my uh, Maya like do stunts over the newborn. Like and then jumps. Just get, yeah, like jumps yeah. and like tat them up. Yeah. Tat up Maya, let her do like jumps or like or just like See if I could train my newborn to like, you know, when like jackass kids bop, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when strong men have like uh, people step on their stomachs, mm-hmm. like trucks, I'm going to train this infant to be able to withstand like, I don't know, maybe like a dog or something. <laughs> dude, if you have another girl, you could have island girls. <laughs> island gals would be nice, mm-hmm. dude. Island gals. I don't know. That would be. Yeah, that would be way more successful if these were 14 year old girls in the pool. <laughs> Yeah, we don't we don't have like a island girls conjures a different image, by the way. Island boys is like you're smoking weed, playing soccer. Island girls is like you better put this fucking Fat basket butts. on your head. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Get this basket on your head right now. <laughs> true. That was true. culturally insensitive. I shouldn't have said that. Sorry. No. Yeah. Island boys have a lot more fun than island gals. Oh, dude, island boys, they're falling out of hammocks on weed. <laughs> yeah. You got because island gals, island well, girls, dude, well, there's a lot of done. There's a lot of aggro island boys, too. Like a lot. It's a lot of like, yeah, we're chilling. It's because they're like, getting concussed from falling coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> dude i i briefly i briefly dated a woman she was dating an island boy and she got kicked out of her house because there was an ak-47 island boy had an ak-47 and apparently he was beefing with someone and like the person came to the house who also had a gun that's why the cops came and he got deported back to the island boy and then we'd be hanging out and some guy from ohio another island boy who moved to ohio would call her literally i swear to god he would call her like 25 times We'd be sitting there on our phone, like, mer, mer, mer. She's like, yeah, he calls me like 20 times a night. He freaks out. Wow. Sometimes the island boys. She probably love that, too. Uh, probably, she yeah. definitely love that. Attention. It made me scared. When I found out her... her the more you're scared that you... Like, she probably told you more details watching you getting freaked out. She'd be like, yeah, and he's just, like, crazy. It was just She's, island boys, dude. I was, yeah. dude, I was fucking chilling with a lot of island boys. I might have been putting out island boy vibes myself, too. That might have been why we, fucking, <laughs> we were vibing so hard. <laughs> I had fleas in my house at the time. So. <laughs> that might be the most island boy thing about you. <laughs> she was a trooper. She would come. She saw I had fleas. She was like, come to my spot, dude. I, dude, it was sick. I've told this story before. That's when I slept in a bodega for like mm, a I week. Remember this. Yeah. Would you fuck her with your jams on? Uh no we would we would we would make love to like the uh, Medea DVD you know when a DVD is on loop <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it would just loop in the background would you hear her and we're like mm mm no, no, no I don't remember actually I don't remember the sound of it I, th- I think no I think it was actually silently looping in the back no, okay. Medea being like okay <laughs> Marty stop picking out on the screen <laughs> only upon command I'm sorry. I'm kidding, Guardini. I appreciate you and I, I celebrate you. He's fired up off all that dark chocolate you gave him. I get bossy, dude, when the dark chocolate <laughs> hits me. 
I, I you know this about me. I get bossy as hell. You turn into a <laughs> you turn into a city boy. <laughs> I turn into a fucking. I, it's a New York minute, dude. I get the dark chocolate in me. I'm fucking. I'm like Logan Roy from. Uh, did you watch uh, Succession? No. New seasons out. Oh my god. Is this one of the shows that you told me was good? My favorite show. I think it's my favorite show I've ever know, watched. I can't. I can't watch shows, dude. I don't know the capacity to watch a show anymore. You watch Squid Games? I did watch Squid Games. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll tell you what, and this this is. I thought know, you were gonna clown me. Like, did you watch? Did you watch that shit? I thought it was. Yeah, so I far, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I do cool. get discombobulated, and I say this with respect. And I here's, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna frame my statement. A lot of times, I've, uh, you know, I've talked to people who aren't white, and they say they have a hard time, tra- like seeing the difference between certain, like especially like, um, like if a white person, a younger white, if an island boy, dude, if you want to buy liquor. You want to go to the store that has someone who's not white because it's like it's harder for them to gauge how old. Mm. If you're not white, it's hard to be like you're not fucking twenty. Like you can't really tell as good. It's it's like your things off. And then, you know I've talked to a lot of people who aren't white who've been like, yo, I have a hard time telling white people apart. And I've totally been like, that's fair. That's a fair assessment. So I say all that to say this: when I watch Squid Games, and they all come out in a crowd. I get my eyes start getting all like you become black. Yeah. <laughs> dude, it's like, dude, did you ever see like, like going into a dark room out of the sun? Like, oh, I need a minute. I need the three or four episodes real quick. Did you ever see EA Sports? Did you ever see like when you play like NBA 2K and like the crowds like it's like four people, but there's a thousand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I swatch them. When they all emerge into the playing fields. I always start going like. Yeah, because I'm try- I'm like, come on, Matt, you're better than this, and I'm like, I can't fucking tell. I- I'm getting confused, dude. I know the four the main characters. When they- I can't look at crap. one Asian person at a time. I see all of them at, at once. It's fucked up. It and I don't I don't say this with glee. It's something I'm working on. I watch Squid Games. Like Matt, come on, dude. I need you to distinguish every single person. And they call come out. And I'm like, oh, I'm getting dizzy. It's hard. Dude. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's when fucked, the whole when it's the fucked whole- up when you're watching a real time scene. You're like, is this a flashback from a different character? Is, am I- is this the same person? Person? What is that? <laughs> he puts on like migraine glasses that are actually just those those trick Asian glasses. Because <laughs> I see like the, the five main characters and then all of a sudden the rest of the people come out and I, I'm just going like, come on, man, you're better than this. And I'm just like, oh, no, I already saw that guy. And I'm like, no, what the hell? And I'm like, yeah. no, he's over here. And I see him again. It's dude, it's crazy. But, you know, I don't say again, I'm not saying is this that with any other different race or just Asian people. <sighs> I Island would boys. say, <laughs> nah, I don't know. Honestly, I, I've never had like a. Do you ever go to like a family party on your wife's side? No, I'm pretty. Maybe I'm pretty like, good with that. I'm because it's just I've never had. <laughs> I've never had like a just such a crowd emerge like that to where I'm trying. I'm like you know I'm obviously like working on myself. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, Matt, you're gonna tell you're gonna see each individual person and not get confused at all. And I just start going. My eyes start getting googly on me. It's not a, you know. Did have you gone to IMDb? I'm pissed. I'm, pissed. I'm, I'm like fucking shit. <laughs> Matt, did you go to IMDb to look up all their individual names? <laughs> yes, I did. Just to honor them, I, I went. I'm like, I need to know every single cast. I'm, I get the same way with the names too. I'm like, these names are different. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a lot of similar names in Korea. In Korean, there's a lot of uh, a lot of sim names. Yeah, Kim is like a common surname. It's like Smith equivalent but yeah I, I hold my wife's hand yeah, I'm people like, please, are different dude. please imbue me i tell my like, please imbue me with your powers dude please <laughs> she's you know she's she's like i'm actually kind of having a hard time too. Yeah. Having a, yeah we play that game dude people ask me all the time would you rather have the ability to fly power of invisibility or tell asian people apart and i say tell asian people apart every single time dude Heard that's that. how serious i am about it that's how that's how much i'm I would trying for, to grow dude, i would forego human flight to be able to Tell four hundred Asian people. Apart. Just yeah, and be like, yep, I like, remember names, yeah, everything. Yeah, I'll, dude, I'm telling, I gave it a good, eff- a solid effort, dude, of ally them. And I'm watching, and I'm just like, here you go. And it was just, dude, it, my eyes were just like, <laughs> I was getting so fucking confused. <laughs> it's so. Funny. That's why white people's eyes are so wide compared to theirs, because every time you see a group of them, see everything. Like, oh my god, dude, what is it? <laughs> you didn't have to take it there. You didn't have to take it there, dude. <laughs> Although I do celebrate all of our differences, so I appreciate you, uh, yeah. you know, putting that out. Tim's there. a round island boy. He is. <laughs> <laughs> it is you funny can't too. hold him back, dude. It is funny, yeah. It's funny that like, you can't mention that. It's like, yeah, it's no big deal. It's just facts. Dude, about, I would say, last spring, I go and get a massage like once a month. And it's, dude, dude, <laughs> could you at least have waited till we talked about something else before diving? No, well, this is the direct correlation. Yeah, I was going to talk about one other thing. You could have brought a massage. Dude, I, I, I tipped two separate women because I wasn't sure who my lady was. <laughs> was this a professional massage? Yeah, it was. There was no funny business. Um, but uh, 
<laughs> a very, very good place, Taiji AccuCare. They um, oh, it's a great massage. But I was at the, the front. oldest trick in the book, dude. They got you. <laughs> But at this place, I don't know if they do this other places, but they stand at the register. Oh, wait, while, what happened? Like, when, did you say like, were you just covering your like, I don't know which one of you guys massaged me. Here you go. Or did I, you- I didn't know because I, I had I was going to give twenty dollars and I had two tens and I truly did not know because one was my masseuse and one was waiting for her client. And it's the male madam, whatever his title is, is the one that rings you sir. up. Yeah. Yeah. The sir. <laughs> Is the sir is ringing me up and I didn't there know. There was a male madam there? Yeah, he's the guy that runs it. Like he has, I, I guess he speaks the best English. Really? So he handles all the phone transactions, handles all the financial tra- transactions too. Gotcha. So that the, place is probably running tight. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're and it's all, it's all above board. Yeah, it's great. You can just walk in there and it's Have no you ever funny asked business. for a hand job? I have not, no. Okay. Although the place I'm, that I, mean, I took you to to get a massage once, they got kind of funny once. Not that whoa, I had asked for, but the do? lady, well, the lady, I was getting massaged in my underwear, or I laid on the table in my underwear. She's like, no, you take it off. So that's I, fair. That's that's uh, that's fair. But dude, it didn't end there. As I, I got, At this place, I got massaged in jeans with my wallet in, and she didn't move the wallet all the way and like still massaged my butt. <laughs> Why did you get massaged in jeans? What? Why did you massage in jeans? I wasn't getting on, dude. First of all, it was a he, <laughs> he like sprung it on me. We were we were doing something else. He was like, "Let's go grab a, a chair massage." And we get there, there's no chair. They take you into the back. I'm like, dude, I was grooming. I'm not fucking getting. <laughs> first of all, the sun was out. You're not getting me fucking jerked off while I was supposed to. I was just stepping out real quick to get a sandwich with Mike. Don't fucking ruin my life. <laughs> True, that's a t- <laughs> that's a t- <laughs> But the place is above. Wait, this was the place you said might be in a little bit of funny he, business. He was all wrong. They were not above board. First they of all, to they, jerk him. A hand job is the logical end of a massage. Mm-hmm. That's the point of a massage is mm-hmm. to like build yourself up to a hand job. The sure. massage is good for you, but you like. I, I have a feeling if you don't get a hand job after massage, you might also have a heart attack. <laughs> it's just dude that's a serious rev you can't just fucking punch the gas dude. dude that's what they ask when you come to the er if you're it's like all right does your arm hurt do you have chest pains and did you jerk off after you got a massage today <laughs> or they should have a room where they at least like excuse like set you up yeah yeah in yeah. a term of, you know like we're you know we're married men so they should set us up and then right. be like take it from here bro like literally get you to every mm-hmm. step of the way and be like, ultimate loophole you have my blessing mm-hmm. like i might be watching i might not be it's not a big deal it's yeah. not on you just Bounce that around your head and, you know, take care of yourself. Just and just do the logical end of this massage. Like, I'm going to FaceTime your wife. And, you know, that's, what, that's what they call it. That's why they call it a logical ending. <laughs> that's a logical ending. Yeah, that'd be pretty tight. I'm going to whisper through the crack of the door, you know. You well, do they have that it. when you go, you know, when you go floating, they have like that transition room where you sit in and you get rehydrated and you listen to the music and you sit in the chair. Yep. That would be the space for it. True. That's actually a good idea. Go to the transit. Now I'm, I need to I need to crank it out then and there. The transition room will be cool, but could I work myself up on the walk? <laughs> didn't you Didn't you almost hands free in a float tank one time? Yes. Yeah. How'd that go, dude? It was crazy. I was just I was I'm gonna get back into floating. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm kidding. I almost uh I almost hands freed. Yeah, because it was like the water was bobbing up and down, and I just started getting hard, dude, and it was. Felt kind of good, and I was in yeah. a deep space, and you know, dude, felt, he, I he felt was, like I encountered an entity. And he was fucking the surface feminine. engine of the water. I mean, dude, it was it was I I encountered an entity. It was very feminine entity. The sexual energy was pretty strong, and then those <laughs> things started going up and down. I started getting hard in the float tank. I don't know. Could have been. <laughs> and I was could have been a guy entity, and you don't know. It definitely wasn't, dude. Know, the dude. Astral beings don't. They're very upfront about what. Like, I don't what know, dude. Astral beings show you what they choose, dude. Dude, I think you might have been getting tricked. <laughs> hey, I would have taken it at that point. You yeah. know what I mean, I couldn't. If I got fucking power bottom, if I got, this, <laughs> dude, what would you do? You it's slowly like, turn yeah. over in the floor. Like, oh no, dude, stop, dude, for real, stop. <laughs> Your astral being just like flipped you over like a burger. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's is a possibility. Yeah. You know, some sort of like trans astral entity. Just fucking <laughs> you got tri- tricked. Tricked me. Yeah. You know, that's what it is. That's what mm-hmm. it is. There's worse yeah. things that can happen. Flo- to you float tanks actually. are like truck stops for trans astral <laughs> entities. <laughs> <laughs> True. But the, um, yes, yeah, so that is something that happened. Matt, do you want your dick sucked or not? Yeah, like, um, <laughs> yes. Glug, glug, glug. Yes. The, um, no, I'm actually, I've been very, I wouldn't say, I, I've been very chaste lately on all fronts. My masturbatory life has been reduced. Pussy to, too. Well, yeah, you know, I've uh, I've been taking it easy on my wife. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Well, you're getting married. You're saving yourself. Saving, I'm saving myself for the big night. Mm-hmm. I'm showing the sheets. 
to the family. I want to go out <laughs> and just be like, nah. You should like, get, no. get a fryer. You should get a fryer to like announce it to every uh, announce like we your got a new That'd be pretty sick. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show the sheets when instead of before you know but back in the day it was obviously the the hymen. I'm just gonna hit the load and show the. Fucking, <laughs> I'm gonna show the ropage to my family. He gave us the signal. <laughs> I will show the ropage and I'll black light, I'll black light it up. That'll be you know they do like the break the day after brunch. Mm-hmm. It'll be I'll have that on display like right above the coffee and donuts of this the sheets hanging with like a little black light on the load and be like dude. Make it so like they like got, I missed a little too, but like there was more, but like that's that's that, a little. That's make it so like issue. they got to pass through it like a college football team bursting <laughs> through the air. <laughs> like your mom's got to run through it. Dude, that's so sick. That's how people used to get down. You after the wedding, the guy would you would just be all hanging out and they would be smashing and they'd be like, "Yep." Yeah. That was how tore that pussy up. Here's that the proof. Was, that was the how they family. invented high fives. True. That's absolutely that's 100% true. It was, it's an absolute involuntary response. Mm-hmm. You're waiting. Dude, oh my God. That's crazy. People used to really fucking not have sex for a long time. I think I feel like everybody just lied. You think so? Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. dude. That sheet trick, dude, that would fuck you up. If you were a girl, your whole family in the sheets, you don't see that dude. And it's a fucking, it's a motherfucker <laughs> for both because the dude might not have popped the chair. That's possible too. She tries to spill a little Kool-Aid on it. There had to, you, you are probably right. Your, your grandmother, if you had like a slut grandmom, she'd probably hit Choke you. Up, she'd probably man. slip you a little thing. <laughs> so the dude would just be buried like, oh, and you'd be fucking. I always love in story in like fantasy movies and stories when there's a slut grandmom who's like, don't worry, I'll, I'll break it all down for you. Don't. I think Game of Thrones had like 15 um, of those. I was, yeah, that's, just, that's literally what I was thinking. Slutty grandmoms breaking it down for their whore granddaughters. Is there anything that you guys saved like for the wedding night? My ass. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's such a low, sultry tone. Um, I mean, I've recently reclaimed my virginity, so mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I really uh, like. You didn't like pull like a hood out, like a leather mask or something. No, I didn't. No, 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 mm-hmm. no, no, no. The uh, I can't think of anything. No, I know I didn't save anything. Of course, you know, unfortunately, I was born into a culture that doesn't value chastity, and I, <laughs> I was fucking damaged. I was beat up, goods, dude. What about you, Timbo? No, I, I regret it now. Obviously, uh, not saving yourself. I, dude, I kind of wish yeah. I waited. I wish I'd never had sex. Yeah. Until I was like twenty-five. Mm, I wish I still have never. Right. True. Now. <laughs> True. Cool. It would be sick, dude. I saved myself till I was nineteen. Swag. Pretty long. That's not bad. Yeah. 17 but you know i wish i waited to way longer were you consciously like holding it back or did it i just... was try- i was desperately trying to get pussy since i was like mm-hmm. in seventh grade i was tra- mm-hmm. i was i was trying to fuck day one mm-hmm. so my brother hit me in fifth grade with like an absolute conundrum where he was like yo uh he's like i think you're gay <laughs> <laughs> i was in fucking fifth grade he's like i think you're gay which you know? brother tom yes he goes dude uh pretty sure you're gay and i was like i'm not gay he was like, nah, he's like, yeah, have you ever even gotten an ass? And I was like, no. And he's like, well, you're not not gay. And I was just like, fuck, dude. Literally, there was a 10-day period where I was like, I fucking might be gay. I was like, fuck. Dude, that's probably when those astral demons found out. Probably just passing by and heard Tom talking dude, gay shit about you. Maybe. Tom probably did a an astral ceremony to tip them off. Like, listen, guys, man's going to be in the tank. He's in the tank. He's Get in the tank. Cheeks, I primed him off. <laughs> It is funny thinking in fifth grade of being like, just dealing with that problem when you're 10 being like, am I fucking gay? And you're like, shit, dude, that would be a big be setback. so embarrassing. That'd be a big <laughs> setback. Be so right embarrassing now, if I was gay. Do you think every teenage boy has that like paranoia for some degree? Thinking like, what if people think I'm gay? Yes. <laughs> Maybe I, not now. Now it's like, hell yes, dude. That's probably awesome to be gay now. Hey, yeah. Dude, if you're not gay now, you're gay. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, the polls have flipped. <laughs> If Classic anti dude. Yeah, not not being gay right now is a big problem for teens. Being hetero as fuck. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, you gotta look, dude. There's like, it's know. like wearing Wranglers. Being straight's like wearing Wranglers now. True. It's like, dude, they do make nice Wranglers though. It is like the New Balance of sexuality. <laughs> Take out straight Mike over here, <laughs> <you> fucking Windsor. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, I was a. Uh, I. It's not uncommon for me to hear like. 
uh, people like Gardini and Noah's age, they'll talk and they'll be like, yeah, I've kissed dudes before. Like, you know, whatever. Yeah. If you're a stickler about it, they're, they're kissing right now. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> kids, you're right. you, guys kiss, you guys kiss dudes and shit at parties. Not a big deal. Absolutely not. Dude, I, I'm telling you, the kids, kids slander. I heard it's no big deal. And it, it isn't. I'm not shaming you guys. huge deal. You guys yeah. are practically tongue kissing, trying to talk into that mic at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Jesus How Christ! How about you guys fucking slide apart? <laughs> yeah, Get a paper plate between those two. <clears throat> but yeah, the um, yeah, I, I've talked to multiple people who are in their mid twenties, being like, "Yeah, I've kissed, you know, I've like, you know, been on Molly and kissed dudes, it's like just stuff we do, like." Are they around. being like very like? Does that make me cooler? I don't think so. I mean, I'm just you know a normal guy. We kiss dudes. Now. I mean, if you're doing that to get pussy. That's kind of mm. sick. In a, a way. Yeah. It's dude. like, damn, dude, that's pretty nasty. That's the lengths yeah. you're going to. Like, I put. I, that I would be the Fonz now, by the way. If they made Happy Days now, the Fonz would just be like doing gay shit all the time. To oh, get yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Gay. <laughs> gay. <laughs> that's for you, Noah. <laughs> damn, dude. <laughs> who is the Fonz's. Uh, who is that redhead guy who directs that? Rich, no, Richard Ron, Ron, Ron Howard. Ron Howard. Yeah, yeah, dude. They would have like at a, like a they would have been like at like a rave and they would have done like a half-assed hand job to each other. That, that would have been one of the they episodes. definitely fuck. That would have been one of the they episodes. definitely the fun, dude. Do uh, they fuck? I don't think the guys fuck yet. I think they just make out and they're like, yeah. No, I'm saying back then it was like the Fonz and Ron Howard did. Yeah, Ron Howard and that uh, what's his face. Um, Henry, Henry Winkler. Henry, Henry Winkler. Winkler. They definitely they, back in the day they, they fucked. definitely. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Remember like the Rolling Stones? I think all like. They're all those dudes, all people's favorite classic rock bands. <laughs> Dude, you ever see them like play guitar back to back and like sing into one microphone together? They definitely all fucked. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Appar apparently Mick Jagger like and David Bowie used to fuck. That's so cool. It man. is fun to find like an older guy and like listen, have him listen to like, the Rolling, like, yeah, the Rolling Stones. But, like, you know, Mick Jagger was like so gay. fucking yeah. little boys and stuff. And yeah, now I don't you know. Do. I'm, I shouldn't say that about Mick, but they did fuck little girls a lot. Yeah. They, they fucked little girls. That's for sure. A lot of them. And then they were just like, you know. Mick Jagger and David Bowie would be like cutting a, a track and just start blowing each other. What was that song? Under Pressure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, dude. Um, so I don't want to talk about that junk. So so what happened at this thing? So he took you. You went to. You took him to. A, you wanted to, you know, help him relax. Yeah, I just took him. You to kept the Wrangler. That's straight as hell, by the way. Mm -hmm. Massage and some Wranglers. Who, who me? That's fine. That's, That's fine. pretty nasty. Yeah. So what happened? Uh, Thick wallet, dude. A wallet that gave me back problems. <laughs> it was in my pants as this woman was trying to touch my butt. Part of the massage was like just like moving the wallet to the other other pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so what tipped you off that this place might have been trying to offer the full massage experience it that nature intended? It wasn't the time that I went with Tim. Probably the next time or two times later, I went in with my wife. And there's a back room that I'd never been in before. But they That's led a fantasy me back mind there. Gone. They led me back there, <laughs> and my wife was right outside the back room. I don't even remember if she was getting a massage or not. She might have just been waiting for me. And I got down to my underwear, and she's like, "No, you take, you get, you get naked." So I, I took it off, and I lay down, and she instantly goes for my cheeks, and she's like pulling them apart. She's like, "Oh, that's so sore." <laughs> oh, dude. dude, like, are you my twin? Are you able to feel what I'm feeling? And dude. no, it's not sore, you dumb bitch. Imagine like walking back out to the lobby and meeting up with your wife, and you're still covered in like the new roo goo. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you know, you, you know, you get sunburn on vacation, and like you just have aloe vera under your shirt all week. You just walk, you're walking out. There. Very like not trying to touch the material. Hey, it was all right. Let's go. Could you tip all these women for me real quick? Dude, I told you I had a failed Nuru before when I was a younger mm -hmm. wild man. Yeah. I, I had a disgusting Nuru. You aborted. Like a, I just was like, it was like, a, it was the only Nuru. I was like, get off me. <laughs> get off. Wait, just, did you actually, did the massage initiate or did you get in there, peep the scene and bounce? Uh, I was slid upon. <laughs> <laughs> I was slid upon. I was just like. It just wasn't like, you know, you, you have one thing from the videos and it was just some lady who stunk like cigarettes who was like breathing heavy on me. And I was like, get off me. Oh, man. Get off me. So, yeah. And she's like, can I get a ride to the, the CVS? I was like, no. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm going home. Dude, yeah. what, what did the, uh, the, the gel, what did that smell like? I think I blocked it out. I don't know. I genuinely don't remember. It didn't smell. The, 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 the ambiance in terms of smell wasn't pleasant, I remember. But I don't think it was the jail's fault. I think it was just kind of like, you know. When did uh, you know something was afoot? 
Ah, when I pulled up. It was like a <laughs> when she was missing one. <laughs> yeah, when I walked directly from the parking lot into the door of the motel room, I was like, this place seems a little seedy. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come in those balls for me, sir. <laughs> it is crazy when you get possessed by coming. What happens? Yeah. When I was a young man, I was possessed by coming. Oh, you're a demon. Oh, it's insane. It's the worst, dude. It's the fucking worst stuff. Dude, That's eat- actually pretty impressive that you pulled the eject on a new route. I wouldn't have been able to do that. Uh, you say that. You, if you encountered this one, it was fucking rugged, dude. Man, I get so even now, like I'm 42, I get so cum possessed. Like when I'm in the midst of a cum possession and I'm like looking at porn on my phone, I'll talk to the phone. <laughs> dude, that's I've I used to be cum possessed as well. I I don't know how I've broken it, and it's I'm you worried your virginity. I reclaim my virginity for You're sure. A warrior. My, one of my biggest fears is that my cum possession is going to resurface his ugly head. I don't think it will. Hmm. But it's, it's like, like alcoholism. It's always there. It's like there, you got to keep exactly. taking steps to it is keep there. it buried. It is there. But I'm always like. Are you worried about being murdered on your wedding night? That's a classic move. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's like the ulti- That's like the ultimate lady move. Like the ultimate dude move is like, what am I saving for this? Right? What's the, you know? Show them the sheets. Being the ultimate for a woman is to murder her husband on the mm, wedding. True, night. or have him murdered. I think they like to do it with like a little poison needle and it's fucking. Like, oh yeah. Bombs. Sorry. I th- I think <laughs> monthly she like looks over my sleeping body with a dagger and is like, mm. no, I <laughs> couldn't do it. Do you think most ladies like have murderous thoughts? Yes, um, one hundred percent. That's all women think about is murder, mm-hmm. murder and betrayal. I would say ninety eight percent of their thoughts. Dude, are I fucking and hate. And they get horny for it. I agree with that. And then they, it, it, the other two percent is them imagining themselves on like breezy villa grotto like balconies outside, <laughs> on like princess poster beds. Yeah. They're like a thin oh, sheet, Matt. and just like just after they betrayed you. <laughs> I feel like you have a camera into my my wife's yeah. brain right now. <laughs> it's crazy how elaborate their imaginations can get. But then it's like if you try to send them to the DMV by themselves, it's like. How do what do I what paper do I fill out, dude? Matt, how could I ever figure that out? Matt, like a week ago, it's because all there is all dude. They have a screensaver <laughs> when they're not attacking you personally on something. Their mind freezes and just an image of like them being held by like a muscle bound, long haired dude, uh-huh. and them just being like. <laughs> Matt, two weeks ago, my wife was watching Under the Tuscan Sun, and she's like, "Dude, she's like, uh, what is that? It's like." It's like the rom-com Hall of Fame movie. Gotcha, gotcha. And at one point, she's like, uh, do you think we could ever move to Tuscany? It's like, I can't afford sneakers, you dumb bitch. <laughs> no, we're not ever going to fucking Tuscany. <laughs> but it was a serious question, too. There's no like, like, what, man, would it be nice to live there? Yeah. It's like in their mind in that moment. Yeah. And the same thing, too. Like, she'll be reading these fucking James Patterson books. And when I catch her reading one of those, it's like, all right, well, the next week I'm going to be accused of cheating, having multiple affairs, and I'm the high chance of being murdered right now. Whereas like, if I watch Goonies, like there's no point that I think like the fucking Fratellis are after me. (laughs) Yeah, dude. It's, uh, I've, I've, I constantly, uh, I'll confront Brittany on her girl porn intake. Like the certain show she watches. I'm like, this is pornography. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you can watch this, but understand this is like me down here watching like gaped, like triple X (laughs) gape stuff. It's like no dude will ever behave that way. This is pornographic. This is emotional pornography. Do you ever try to trick her and, and putting something like healthy for her? All the time. Healthy programming? Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. I try to make her watch healthy programming all the time. It's like rubbing like, cool down movies. a dog's throat. <laughs> you ever watch a cool movie with your wife and then like oh. there's like a graphic sex scene and they're like, okay, I don't need to see all this. You should do the same thing with her when she's watching like Love Island and like a dude's just like <laughs> having abs and being like, yeah, it's like, I'm not really sure we're making a connection, are we? You're like, Oh, I can't even look at this, dude. This is dude. Did you ever see gross. love, uh, sex slash love? It's on Netflix. Mm. It's fucking porn, dude. Cool. It's pornography. No, that dude. Rules. This is what crap. do they do, dude? There's the first. I like walked in. And some lady was getting fingered. I was like, what the fuck are you watching? <laughs> Turn this crap off. Sex life. Yeah, sex slash life. It's like if it's like a Fifty Shades of Grey level, dude. I was telling her, I'm like, this is softcore pornography. She's like, no, it's not. We we should see yes, if we can is. make like the ultimate chick film. Have just oh, like have dudes so- saying, oh, your thoughts are valid, babe. Oh yeah, I want to kill you. Your thoughts are so valid. I want to kill you. Like it's just weird. I want to hide your body. I've never got a boner for a woman's intelligence, and I feel like you're giving that to me. (laughs) Like you should start your own product line. You'd be just as successful as Kim Kardashian. She's actually they're like saying things in the movie. Like wow, I feel like someone who would even enjoy what we're doing would be like a really smart and intelligent woman. Yeah, but in (laughs) (laughs) in order to, but he'd have to be in a relationship. 
Uh, and he'd have to be like, I'm not the type of guy who cheats, but you're just pulling me out of this because you're so much better than this girl I'm with on every level. Yeah. I can't believe you're such a more successful woman than she is. Yeah, on every business level. lady. Oh, God. God. Like, I just subtracted to your business acumen. <laughs> but I also, I just am so, because my other wife died. They love when dudes are like, and my wife died and left me with these kids. <laughs> Ever since you became a Rodana Fields millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since your fucking craft company of bracelets took off and you came a Brazilian. <laughs> That's a girl dream, dude. All those Babe, bracelets. Babe, hope you don't mind I reorganized your Pinterest for you while you were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh my God, dude. I got you a trophy to commemorate your powdered milkshake sales lady of the year. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy you became a CEO of Herbalife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you ever sell Herbalife? No. Um, you would at least enjoy the the, the intake meeting. <laughs> you slang Herbalife? I used to. You slang you slang powder. Yeah, <laughs> I got out of the game though. <laughs> but they set it up. It was like some some weird uh, Dominican lady that I worked with. She set me up. She's like, here, just go to here. Here's the plug. She was. I That's had a, queen of the south, dude. I met her at a Borders <laughs> in Springfield. <laughs> To buy the kid off of her, but then she made me go to like this event at, at the Ramada. <laughs> <laughs> she went to the event. Yeah, it's uh, it was at the Ramada down by the Philly airport. Probably a lot of fit mommies. No, <laughs> <laughs> really, dude. It's it's it looked like people that have been hit by trolleys. Like <laughs> everybody there is fucked up for some unknown reason. <laughs> And um, when they start the event, I brought my my daughter with me, and they asked me to have her sit outside the room. What? All right. So I had her sit outside the room. <laughs> Dude, Full then, disclosure. Yeah. And then they- Why'd they have her? Trade secrets? Didn't you I just say know. you would never be groomed by a coach? Uh, I'm rethinking yeah, that now. Uh, could you actually have your teen daughter sit in my car for this, please? <laughs> sure, no problem. And then they start blasting, uh, you're simply the best. <laughs> And everybody were there they clapping like over their heads. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was it because like uh, were they worried about her getting traits? Was she like not old enough to I sign an know, NDA? Man. I still don't know why they because at the time she was. Yeah, it's like nutrition. What's 2003? What? She was probably four. So I had my four year old daughter sit inside the conference room at Ramada uh, while this like forty five minute presentation went on, and they start. What did she do? What did time? she do? Yeah, it just sat out there. Now, full school, now that I think about like I'm not just saying this because I sound like an awful person, but my my wife might have been with her. Yeah, that would make more sense because yeah, I don't yeah. think I would leave her by herself. I got yeah. I'll verify with my wife. <laughs> but when they start blasting the uh, share song, um, it's like a procession of people that sell Herbalife that are also giving testimonials as to how much weight they've lost. Fuck. And then afterward, like the head guy comes up to me and all the other newbies, and they're just like talking about like all the shit they've been able to buy with their commissions and how yeah. much money we could buy. And then I had to meet the Dominican lady at Borders in Springfield <laughs> to buy my kid. How's it? What a normal job interview would be? Your boss just flexing, like you're interviewing for like an IT yeah. job, and he's just like, "Listen, I need I need someone for Windows infrastructure," and it's just like, "Bro, by the way, I got a PS5." So <laughs> this is a pretty sick gig. Throws his Kia keys across the table. He's like, "Yeah, you know, dude, they should do that anyway." When you come in, like, "We are the best." <laughs> Every, did you ever catch like a like an, you have on a Target early enough where they're going like one two three yeah yeah it's a Walmart thing right they do it in Target yeah, too they do it in Target. I watch I walk past a Target and watch them all do it and like like fro it kind of startled me and they're all like ah fuck it's probably not fun when like regular people see that who aren't like, I might start doing that at work you should get dude now that I'm in management I might start making dudes like clap and shit you should go like stand in a circle you should go like Tony Robbins level every morning just being like and you can you should put on the fucking headset. <laughs> I worked at a place where the guy every Monday morning would do a Monday morning sales thing, headset, and come out on the floor, Wolf of Wall Street style, and be like, come on, guys. Dude, nobody gave a fuck. This whole place. <laughs> nobody cared. Yeah. They would do mass firings. And just fire. Like, they would be like, everybody in this boardroom, they, oh, you guys are, should all leave. Like, 25 people at a time. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty sick. It's high turnover, but I left. I was three weeks, and I fucking no call, no showed. Oh, that's the best that's way to leave best a job, man. Move, dude. I, I never it. give two weeks. I gave an email. Dude, two weeks is bullshit, dude. Mm -hmm. That's not Steve Jobs level, dude. If you give two weeks, jobs will just disappear. Never give a job two weeks notice. Yeah. Instantly, you vanish in mystery. And they go, what the fuck happened? Yeah, that's yeah, pretty cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was cool. That guy fucking rules. <laughs> and then come back a month later and just go, what, two months have passed? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> be like, mm. I, I quit a job on the fly at Little Caesars and I went back like two months later just because I had no money. And I knew I was like, fuck, like I was calculating the hours that I would have had. I was like, I would, I probably have a check for 40 bucks in that safe. And Fair. I went back and they're just like, no, we're not giving you a check. She'd be like, prove it. Prove you guys. Only I'm not that bucks. slick, man. So you went back to Caesars. I went back to Little Caesars to see if they had a check for me. And did they, you buy anything? Across the Rubicon. Yeah. True. <laughs> did you buy anything? Did you work out right, anyway? Let me get like a small personal pay. I did not, man. Nice. I hated that fucking job, man. Yeah, pizza places can be, in my experience, can be. There's tough, a, there's tough a pizza job. place in the neighborhood I grew up in that I always dreamed about working at. It was so like hot and smelly <clears> and it was, looked so exciting. And I love the mozzarella sticks so much. And I just, I, like, as a kid, I would daydream about like, dude, someday, dude, I'm going to be on that fucking griddle. Just chopping cheese steaks and like one mozzarella stick at a time. Just a dude, you're, you're right a little Caesar's material. You would have fit in mm -hmm. great there. Caesar's, yeah. Tossing, I did enjoy spinning the pizzas. That was, oh, that was so much fun, man. That was something I enjoyed. And I'm, you know, how would you say you're pretty good at it? I was great at it. You, it, it doesn't take much. I learned literally in like maybe mm -hmm. three hours, I was able to toss well, it. Well, if Italian people can do it. True. Fair point. Hard going to be. No, I appreciate you bringing that up. That's mm -hmm. a very fair point. Yeah. They are pretty unskilled at life. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they traditionally had to resort to a lot of murder. <laughs> yeah, violent people. Yeah, very yeah. violent people. Very criminally minded bunch. Yeah. yeah. They are like chimps. True. Italian people? Oh, yeah. They're like hairier chimps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever see a counter dude at a pizza place like flirting with people's girlfriends? Yeah. That's the best. It kind of rules. God. I thought about that recently, dude, of like... Because there are some dudes that just like, you get dudes in relationships who are just like, I'm a flirt, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and it's easy to find a dude who's a cheater, who's just kind of like, mm -hmm. they just, they, they all do the same stuff. They'll be like, you're looking, looking good. Always grabbing people's wives and shit. You're like, dude, yeah. take care of her. Yeah. You better take care of her. <laughs> it's dude, it's pul dude's will. pulsing. Every Italian dude. You got a good like, guy. Every Italian dude acts like R. Kelly. It's fucking R. Word Kelly. <laughs> Would you consider getting a job at a pizza place like that now? I, actually, my mouth started watering when I thought about it. You I would love a little seizure. Although, I'm going to warn you. I'm going back to old London. It'll turn you off, though. My, my fr Dude, uh, brother. Going in this place, it was so small that it was like the counter, and then the kitchen almost backed up to the counter. It stunk every time I went in, and I was just like, I'm addicted to this. My brother worked at Wings to Go, and he ruined him. It ruined Wings to Go forever. Dude, when you work again next to a fryer Dude, all people day, people were visibly sweaty. Every time you went in, it was a bunch of fat people visibly sweaty. Pizza was probably so good. That's a perfect, <laughs> as a best perfect mozzarella condition. stick probably on earth. Yeah, dude, you want you definitely want a fat like a fatter person lording over a grease pit. Yeah, I wouldn't trust seasoning it with their fucking literal sweat. Oh, dude, it's coming right back out, right in the. Dude, oh, we, we should make a stop after this. Let's go back to the. I would do that for you. True. You like, Can I see how fat your grease person is? <laughs> <laughs> you hear him breathing before you see him. <laughs> like the last per the last guy died last week. You're like, damn, that pizza's probably so good up until the end, dude. <laughs> yeah, right at the end. That's oh, the ultimate. When he was like, just when all of his arteries were clogged. Yeah, that's the ultimate delicacy. That's an Italian delicacy. Is it's like true. day before you die, fat pizza man pizza. It's like what was that thing in the in like a French cuisine when you like drown a pigeon and like put it. Your you head have, yeah, you have to eat under a towel to hide from God. Yeah, dude. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Just leave God. the bones of like the fat grill man. <laughs> yeah, working at a place like that does change you. So it's like the fog of war sets in within a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm telling you, it, it takes away all the magic when you're around a greet like a fryer and you start like, you know, you see like. Just the nasty, how much like bugs and shit he is. Dude, honestly, I feel like Little Caesars is what made me racist. Really? Working there. Because <laughs> there used to be a bus stop right outside of there. And it would close at like 930 or something. Yeah. And my buddy ran the place. So he would make, he made me the assistant manager pretty quickly just because I wasn't an absolute retard. Yeah. And I would close by myself. And at the bus stop at that time, there would be like just full of minorities and they would come in and ask for free soda all the time. And I was too much of a pussy to say no. But yeah. it became so overwhelming that I was getting done later and later because all these minorities were coming in asking me for free Dr. Pepper. <laughs> and that's when I felt actual actual hate toward minorities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. So think about that before you an, judge a racist. An entire black neighborhood thought they had a cheat code for Little Caesars. Like, there's a guy who will just give you free soda. The thing is, you have to go right as they're closing. <laughs> you got to line out the door. <laughs> you had a Dr. Pepper kitchen, dude. <laughs> so when, when did you finally work up the gumption and be like, 
no. I did not. Dude, I quit. Fill me up with Matt, some motherfucking honestly, Mountain Dew. No, I will not <laughs> fill you up anymore. Dude, I, the Matt, syrup's low. I was getting done so late because they would all come in and I just couldn't say no to these people. So I would give everybody a free cup of soda. And there would, there would be no less than 10 people getting free sodas. And when I'm shutting all the shit down by myself, like that's that's like an extra like 20 minutes where I'm putting giving them cups. And so did I was anyone request no ice. Did anyone have the gumption to make no ice? No, nobody did. <laughs> I, I might have let an M bomb fly at that point. <laughs> but it was getting later and later. And that was a major contributor to me. Just not turn going back, back time. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had been like, sorry, guys, no free sodas. It wouldn't have even occurred to me to say that I was that big of a fucking pussy. And it just slowly built of just like, Matt, there was damn it. a guy socked his wife out front of the store one time. And I had my buddy Hoff, uh, who was a delivery driver. As soon as I saw him sock, sock the lady, everybody's like, oh, my God. And I said, Hoff, go lock that door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so scared that the man will come in and, and turn it yeah, on me. Ask for a free soda, dude. <laughs> like, man, I'm fucking I'm parched. I'm parched. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave her hell, dude. She was rope doping me, dude. I need to <laughs> quench my thirst within 32 ounce Dr. Pepper, dude. People, they're just obeying their thirst, dude. <laughs> you can't be mad at them. It was the voice, dude. That was the voice of fucking God being like, Sprite. <laughs> yes. Yes, Father. Well, it's fair. I mean, that's, you know, I appreciate the honesty of coming in and being like, you know, he created bad feelings to get just. I mean, you probably must have gotten some pretty sick compliments, though. Uh, these people weren't very nice. Really? Yeah, it was maybe a thank you like here and there or like an exclamation of excitement more than any like compliment or anything like that. But but it was bad and I'm glad that's <laughs> not there anymore. <laughs> what Did you ever think did you ever, filling sodas like here? Did you ever try to think of a way to like deter them without saying no? Like, did you ever think about learning like a sleight of hand magic trick to make them run out of the store <laughs> <laughs> and then lock them out? <laughs> Hoff, lock that door. <laughs> Is this your soda? Oh! <laughs> Damn. So you've been working back. You've been on a road to perdition ever since. Uh, hey, every day, it's an honest effort, man. True. So I, someone... I just, I just know my triggers. I just can't, I just can't go to Little Caesars. I can't fill, up, I can't fill up my uh, cup of the soda dispenser. You get, grab me a soda, be like, no, I can't. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> That's very funny. It is funny to slowly just fucking. Why are you late? Like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that place was the worst. Papa John's was great though. P. John's mm -hmm. company culture is great there. Mm -hmm. Company culture at Incredible P. John's. Boss. Everybody's great. They would always like put on more people. That's than, the perfect place to go to work. after you become racist yeah. at Little Caesars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's like <laughs> racism rehab. You go to Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> they retrain you. Like they have like a full like twenty pages in the manual. Like, and here's what you do. Yeah. Someone comes in asking for free sodas. Yeah, we don't even serve them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> better ingredients, better violent crime statistics, better pizza. <laughs> Man, that's a hoot. That's pretty funny. Um, did, did you work fast food before? No, just one pizza place and like a couple sh like shitty restaurants. Mm. But I never did a fast. F no, I never did fast food. Um, no, I couldn't do it. My shittiest job by far was a fucking pool company. Oh, that God. was my shittiest. It was a failing. Did you ever work at a failing business? Yes. Dude, I think I might be. <laughs> Dude, this was like a a. a fucking like it was going downhill really quickly and uh the guy this was the i was like probably 17 his brother or someone he knew had another company and i dude i swear to god i'm not making this up i'm there and the guy shows up with a mexican dude this is like you know 17 years old this guy was talking about the mexican the mexican guy i guess he had hired as if he were a slave he's like uh -huh. yo you got to get yourself one of these mexican motherfuckers dude He's like, I pay this guy barely, you know, he's like, I don't really, you know, you don't cost much. It worked their fucking ass off. And the dude was just sitting there like, and he's like, you got to get yourself one of these guys. I remember just being like, interesting. And he, dude, it was nuts. If he, he was really generous, he'd be like, matter of fact, go, go with Matt. You're, he's yours. This is all yours. Now. I'm telling you, dude, it was, I remember thinking like, well, that's pretty weird. And then he would, we would dig fucking uh, pools up. You know, he had a machine, but you had to sit there and like clean the edges up with the shovel. He would stand over the edge of the shovel and be like, or edge of the pit and be like, go, go, go. Why is that shovel not hitting the dirt? He would just fucking dog you all day long. Mush. Go. You're getting mushed. He would, dude, he mushed us, dude. 
He sat. That's how he thought you were supposed to do as a boss. Stand at the top of a thing and be like, dig, dig. It was like a fucking galley ship, dude. It was second by second fucking him just being like, go, go, go. And he'd be moving a shovel. Were you guys like singing songs? No, we did Nobody not sing. No spirituals. Knows. No spirituals. <laughs> it was me and a dude, um, uh, this one guy. The one guy he was actively trying to fire. So every day he would flip the dumpster over and make him pick it up to oh, try to get Jesus him to quit Christ. so he didn't have to pay him unemployment. It was fucked up. And he had a, the guy, the salesman, his jacuzzi salesman had a vicious stutter. So <laughs> you go in there, like, jacuzzi is a tough <laughs> word when you have a stutter, <laughs> dude. He would, I, it was, dude, it was the worst. He, it, he a, practically sells itself. <laughs> dude, it was little. I'm not lying. It was that bad. So he had a stutter and jacuzzi salesman, and you know he had one employee he didn't like very much. The other guy who was his main man for the maintenance was fucking uh the main maintenance guy had gotten. He like his company fell apart because he like got into meth by accident, <laughs> thought it was coke, stayed up a couple of days, you know, fell, uh, his business yeah. failed. Yeah. So he was a pretty, he was actually, a, he, he was really good at working, but that was, uh, that guy would come home. I would do maintenance with this guy and he would just like, he would, the guy had no idea what he was doing or like the dude who hired us. So the maintenance guy was pretty smart and he would get all of his jobs done in like do two hours. So we played Tiger Woods on PlayStation and mm-hmm. we was like smoke weed. But apparently he, to the other guy who they were trying to fire, he like would do weird sexual shit where he'd come out like and like in his underwear and like show his ass to him. It was pretty weird. And he asked me, I saw the guy we, we, we met years later. He's like, did he ever show you his fucking ass? And I was like, nah, dude. He's like, bro, he brought me in his apartment and like showed me, <laughs> showed me his ass. And he's like, I was just fucking around, bro. I was kidding. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, this was easily the worst place ever. That was the guy with the stutter? No, the, the salesman just, he just chilled in the office. He didn't oh, go out in the yeah. field. Take him three three days to say I quit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was easily the worst job, dude. The guy would just scream, and then at one point he was like, "Yo, go service pools." And I was like, "I have no idea how to do that." He's like, "You'll be fine." And I, dude, I just went to houses and just fucked with people's shit in their pool filters. <laughs> and then I, and I went home early. I just drove home and was like, "Dude, I don't know." The guy was like, "You didn't clean my fucking pool." It's like I, I genuinely don't know how to do that. <laughs> like, I don't know how to like get the shit. I had to like hook up a vacuum to a thing and like use mm-hmm. like a, like suction. It was crazy, dude. I'd look at the pool. Did you, did you ever look at a pool filter? Mm-mm. It's fucking terrifying, dude. If you're not mechanically inclined, I would just like turn knobs and be like, Ew, it does look like a fucking Victorian steam machine if you're not. It's crazy, like, dude. Valves and shit. Worst place I ever worked. You picture, you, I picture you as somebody who would take off a shirt and get in the pool to check I it out. I fell in a pool one time. The dude <laughs> fucking complained, too. I was overwhelmed. I didn't know what I was doing. I bent down to like adjust something. I fucking fell in. And the dude accused me of trying to cool down. I was like, dude. <laughs> I wasn't trying to cool down. I genuinely lost my balance. And now I'm drenched head to toe. Yeah. I had to get back in the truck in wet jeans. Leave me Sneakers, alone. Dude. He called. He called and he was like, dude, one of your guys. And my boss was like, you gotta cool down. I was like, I didn't fucking cool down, dude. Took I a genuinely dip. slipped. I slipped. Dude, imagine how good of a jacuzzi salesman you'd be right now, though. You'd probably you'd be the best that ever oh did it. Oh, my God, dude. Shit. I... Dude, Dude, thank you for Googling pools so we can have a better understanding of what I Matt's always, talking about. I, I try to tell him, bro. Knock that off. That is a sick cannonball. I will give you that. That's what the homeowner took of Matt getting in the pool. <laughs> Dude, it was a pure, like, fall in. I was on my knees unscrewing something on the side, and I just tumbled. I was so fucking, I was, like, stressed out of my mind, dude. I was a 17-year-old driving around a pool truck trying to, like, fix shit. Matt, do you remember what thought you had as you were underwater? coming to the surface. <laughs> I was kind of like, damn, that feels good. I remember thinking like, fuck yeah, this feels pretty good. Yeah, dude, I got my ass chewed out for that. Sucked, dude. That was the worst. I fuck- and then it just completely went into ruins. Pool company fell apart. He didn't give me my last check. Dude, I, you know, I bet you something that had more to do with that than you just falling in the pool was you are the ultimate pool boy. And his wife probably I never said had something. I never got it. Dude, this, Relative this guy. hot. I mean, this guy clashed. This guy had a mural of himself on the wall of, of his pool, and it said "Buzzman's Paradise." <laughs> <laughs> fucking hated this guy, dude. He would like fireworks in his fucking pool. And this I had to go sounds clean like a, a Fight Club situation. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Buzzman's Paradise, dude. It was, dude. He would leave candy jellies out, and I would eat them out of spite. I would just be like, oh, and just eat like four <laughs> orange slices, and get in the truck and leave like fireworks in his pool. I'm like, fuck this guy, Buzzman. He'd be like, he came in, fucking took a dip. And then he didn't even take the shit out of my pool. And I was just like, dude, it was ridiculous. There's so much shit in there. He was lighting like M80s in his pool. You ever ask him where he got Buzzman from? I didn't interact How with him. How sick were his sunglasses? 
Uh, probably pretty nasty from what I remember. This yeah. dude had a nasty tiki setup. It was like a, this dude in like Delaware had a wicked tiki setup with a mural of his self. Buzzman's paradise. My my revenge plan. I used to go to places. I would fail personally at, as an employee at like a bunch of places, but then co- concoct like revenge plans. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, I, w- I would pillage cash registers, the places I worked at. But this, you know, this is a service thing. So my big revenge, I was going to go into Buzzman. I would, dude, I was very set on this. I was going to infiltrate Buzzman's paradise because I knew when they weren't around <laughs> and take all of his liquor out of his bar in his outside pool. Whoa. But I That's never, some prank, man. That wasn't a prank. It was, it was Dude, I hated Buzzman. You fucking called my boss on me, dude. He accused yeah, me of cooling up. off. I was like, I wasn't cooling off, dude. It was a sweltering day, too. So my case didn't look it, my case didn't look so good. It's pretty surprising that he'd be so willing to be such a buzz kill. Oh. Well, I mean, I did step into the that's like the Garden of Eden, dude. Like I was in Buzzman's Paradise. <laughs> and I jumped in. Fuck. I mean, it's probably pretty normal for him to have someone fully clothed. That's like that was parrot head behavior. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's it was bullshit. So Back to the massage. <laughs> what happened besides that? She squeezed her butt cheeks. That was it. And she like pulled them apart. And she says, oh, it's so sore. <laughs> so sore. How did she know your butt was sore? I don't know. And like to me, like I, I interpreted that as like, <laughs> do you want to get jerked off? Like, yeah, yeah it is sore. Say, Why don't you play around with that a little bit? Yeah. It's, yeah that's, did she look into your asshole like a jeweler? It was like the eye of sorrow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That is very funny. It's so sore. I yeah. think that was a vocabulary slip up. I think I think she was trying to say you're so tense. <laughs> you have a tense ass. Your ass is telling me you need a hand job. Did you have itchy butt that week? I did not. Oh man. Dude, that I'm, would I'm, be a great service. If you can go somewhere and get a professional butt scratch when you have itchy butthole. Dude, I have canceled um appointment massages because I knew my asshole wasn't clean. I have not canceled them. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's you don't feel good. You got a greasy butt. There's a, well at the place where I mentioned where I paid the two separate ladies. They do this thing where like they'll pull your underwear down like four inches so that it's like they can access the glutes. Yeah, just like so that your underwear is just above your asshole. It's a part of your body. It needs to get massaged. Actually, a very important you. part of your body. I'm with you, dude. But there's times that where I've been like, oh fuck, I pooped today. Yeah, and I might not have cleaned as well as I should have, and you know, I I don't want people to have to deal with that. Working True. people. True, if you got like a racing stripe out the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh I'm trying to think. I I had a I had a time when I was in Chicago with Brittany and we went to a B dubs, Buffalo Wild Wings, and oh. I mistook our waitress for somebody else and they were none too pleased. Uh what ethnicity? They're black ladies. Okay. And Brittany went to the bathroom and I was like, you know, I was like Matt's grabbing waitresses. Are you my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Help me. <laughs> they both had like they both had pretty elaborate like braid setups with mm-hmm. like a different color. Mm-hmm. And I and I I I went to Brittany. I'm like, come on, give me that. And she was like, no, dude, they don't look the same at all. And I was like, well, no. she's pretty pissed at me, me right now. So you might want to get out of here. You want to be associated <laughs> with my ilk. I yeah, maybe if they don't want people getting confused, they'd have different baskets on their heads. <laughs> <laughs> She got me, you know. And again, I was, I was just like, dude, I was so pissed. I was like, God damn it, not again. Yeah, I think I'm an asshole. To be fair though, I remember kind of being like, come on, man, you guys, like, mm-hmm. one of you can have that. You can't be both rocking that, or just be like, ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I get, I get confused all, I get confused all the time. Yeah, can one of you wear a cast? <laughs> I feel so bad for you guys. I've never even had a racist thought before. Uh, I'll give you some of mine. <laughs> You've never been stuck at the fucking just filling up Mountain Dews, dude. Uh, Not even I guess thanks. there, but for the grace of God, you know. Mm. Dude, that's like, like filling up sodas for minorities who are holding up your time. It's like racism recharging. Oh, Mike, you know. <laughs> your eyes just go away. <laughs> it's a door cell white power battery. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Um, there's actually one I wanted to talk to you guys about. I have a, so, and I, I figured you guys, you know, I'm going to say something. I want you guys to chip in with some entertaining banner. Maybe something insightful. Yeah, that's it. That'd be great. No. <laughs> so I was, at, I was at the playground. I was actually excited to talk to you guys about this. I was at the playground and I saw a, uh, a young girl was on a bicycle. Some, you know, people, some people are, do bullshit shit in the playground. We're like, she's just pedaling around a bicycle. And the other kids... Somehow got their hands on like a clothesline, like a fucking 25 foot length of rope. And we're like playing almost like Tom Sawyer. It's not crack the whip, but they're all just running through this playground with like this long drawn out rope. And the girls on the bike, dude, got literally clotheslined off her bike. 
They ran, and the girl's like, eh, 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 and then his fucking fat, like, right on her back. Cool. Dude, so what I'm, my question to you is, <laughs> have you ever seen any kind of nasty carnage with kids at playgrounds as such? That was pretty, for me, I was like, that was a pretty nasty carnage. And I was like, damn. Yeah, I, you know, to me, nothing. I've seen, like, a lot of other bike shit, because at a park where I used to live, there was a basketball court where older kids would fuck with younger kids on bikes. Nice. And I think I just have like a thing for kids getting hurt on bikes. So I guess I'd be fair to say I'm a convicted pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Tim? Let's wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> now, dude, the, I, guess, I think the most fucked up kid thing I saw, there was a kid in my neighborhood who had a, um, his dad built him a ramp and my wife and I were going for a walk. And um, he, was, he was riding his bike off of the ramp and he fell off of it and he landed like his chin hit the ground first. And that was the most fucked up thing. Like there was no like tricks involved. Yeah. But it was just he really fucking ate it hard. Did he go off the top of the ramp or try to bitch out off the side? No, he, he went off the top, but I, I he just didn't yank his bike up. I don't know what you're supposed to do with the bike, but yeah, it wasn't just, what he's supposed to do. Bunny hop. True. You gotta yeah, pull hop. up and then just hear that electric guitar go in your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he just like just drove off of a bike ramp. Yeah, he just heard it too. Yeah, you got to catch it. That's like part of catching air. Some yeah. people aren't built for the air. Catching air. What's the most air you probably caught, you think? I'm not an air catcher, man. No, it, I, I was blades. always terrified of getting hurt. Like no, anything you, I did, like my mom would tell me I was going to get hurt. Yeah. So I never, never really caught tried air? anything. I can't recall any. What? You know, when I was like 15, I got soaps. Remember soaps? What's that? Yeah, yeah. The wheels with the sh Oh no, the grinding. No, not wheelies. Yeah, soaps. You could soaps. grind stuff. I'm sorry, heelies. Yeah, I got soaps. They had a, a plastic plate in the middle of the foot on the yeah. bottom so you could grind. You just run and grind. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What'd you what'd you grind? Any rails or big kid slide? The, the, the edge of the big kid sliding board, mm. dude. I mean it's how'd you sounds did like you, a brag. Did you go from the top of the Bro. Come on, man. I you, went from the awning above the slide. Jump down. What? <laughs> Loudest piece of metal in the world. <laughs> oh, would you do like a 50-50? Yeah, did you do like a 50-50 grind? Dude. What kind of grind would you say you did? 50-50? Yeah, 50-50. I mean, you could get pretty fucked up and, and twist one ankle around. Look at that, dude. Damn, that guy's nasty as hell. Yeah. Yeah, soaps are sick. We had a guy who had soaps in our high school and he would grind the chalkboard. Wow. It's pretty nasty. Yeah. Dude. Oh, dude. We would get up to some shit in school. Yeah, I want to get front some... step. Like you, you're walking like into school. You like real quick bust the grind across the bottom step. Like, oh, not a big deal, it's whatever, dude. Fuck, How dude. expensive were these? Curb at the bus stop. How expensive Did you wax were they? The curb? Yeah. I remember saving up for some soaps. Yeah. Yeah, we need. I need to get. I might start waxing some curbs just around me in case anyone has some soaps on. <laughs> <laughs> dude, just I do. They're they're eight hundred. Get the fuck out nah, of here, dude. Those, that must be vintage. Those are like the Jordan ones or whatever. Eight hundred dollars. Those are hype beast. Those are hype beast soaps. One hundred seventy five bucks. They're all. Do they still? Do they not make soaps anymore? What the fuck? Why not? I don't know, dude. Dude, just out of nowhere, grinding something with. I your mean, shoes. there's an entire generation of like chubby white kids that just have permanent ankle injuries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these they're already fat enough that their knees were going in the middle, like toward each other in the middle. <laughs> now this. I think I had those ones, the navy blue ones with the white. Do you really? So they're being made right now. I think they're firing them back up. And they're Damn, just, I mean, dude. the ugliest shoe ever I mean, made dude, too. imagine imagine you're in a Sri Lanka sweatshop. You're making shoes. Like, what are these ones? Like, you can grind you shit. They're just like, man, yeah. fuck me, dude. Ooh, Whoa. Whoa. The ultimate. Fuck, man. Yeah, dude. Damn. That's, dude, those are dead kid shoes. That's what they put on you in the <laughs> casket. <laughs> How much are those? <clears throat> 79, 79, bucks. 79 bucks. Dude. What size what size do they go up to? They got a 12 and a half. Uh, those gotta be bootleg. Those are probably Valley Dews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting some soaps, man, that would be that would be pretty chill. Just to mm. grind shit again. I don't even know they exist. I mean, kids your guys' age just are too busy fucking kissing each other to get pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys could be fucking grinding. You guys never soaped in your lives. Yes, could be grinding. Well, they are grinding, but not our type of grinding. True. Just fucking dry humping. Have you guys ever dry like at your parties, you guys <laughs> when you guys go to parties with your friends your age, you guys like ever just like dry hump each other or like grind in music? I mean, I get it. You guys are doing what you gotta do, and I don't you know, I have absolutely no ill will. I'm just curious, like, what's that like for you guys? Yes. You guys, you guys grind at parties? No, I, I, I was never, I was never invited to high school parties. Really? Oh, Gardini was. Gardini, I went to a lot of high school parties. 
But I never last grinded. year. <laughs> 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 but I never grinded on any boys. You never want you never whine for them or girls. Really? <laughs> no, I just I just chilled. No, you ha- you you look like you were definitely hot in eighth One grade, time dude. I got a dry hand sure. job in the bathroom. Boys' room or girls' room? <laughs> Sears. It was, a, it was a family bathroom. It was a household, so there's no gen. It was a all gender bathroom. Nice, Damn, dude. No, what's up? Why didn't you go to parties in high school? What the hell? I wasn't. I wasn't invited to them. Why? What the hell? Were you bad? No, I just didn't have many friends. Oh. That's fair. That's it. That happens. I went to one one time. Girl was like, just like fingering herself on the couch, just what? in front of everybody. It was insane. Damn. It really blew my mind. And that like must- no one was acknowledging it. Like seriously, like it was crazy. Like no one was acknowledging it. And I was just kind of like walking around. And then I looked and she was just like on the couch, like fingering herself. And I was like, is anybody else like seeing what's happening right now? But like no one was around. Imagine, me. Dude, imagine how vicious the rumors were about her. If she was oh, openly fingering herself and everyone ignored her. Bro, it was insane. It dude, blew my mind. Trill. Noah's going in circles on his Heelys. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks too. Like you're not getting invited to parties. You go to one. You're Just like, so what you guys know, fuck? I didn't I actually it. fuck my stepdad. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna swear. I'm gonna swear. Yeah, that would happen. There, there. You know, there was girls who were just. I mean, it's it's a. I understand the move. You're in high school and you just like blow like five dudes in one night. Yeah. Get some clout. That'd be pretty cool. You, but you get some clout. There was always girls in high school like, yo, she fucked, but she blew like seven dudes. Oh, yeah. We had a girl last on the, night. Uh, I, the ski trip that I didn't, we, I couldn't afford to go on, but apparently in the ski trip, this girl. It's a ski trip, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> she had a, uh, apparently yeah. she had a bunch of dudes asking see, Let her. me see it, dude. Let me see you hit me with it. <laughs> Yeah, tell a story like that. Yeah. <laughs> let me see it. Let me see it. You, you see that, dude? <laughs> you want some, dude? Let me get that. <laughs> oh! Uh, I'll give you a wiener, dude. Yeah. I snuck the wiener. I'll do it again. Eat it. <laughs> oh, dude, I would get all up in that. <laughs> I'm like, fuck that. Yeah, we had a girl who uh, <laughs> ate a bunch of uh, free soda dudes' butts on the ski trip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's free soda? Uh, <laughs> what are free soda dudes? Wait, uh, <laughs> my free. Uh, uh, I probably shouldn't uh, explain uh, that. <laughs> right, I hear you saying. But the the rumor is that like, yeah, she ate ten dudes, but they were lined up out of her out of the hotel room door down the hallway. What? what? Pretty gross. Legend. <laughs> Legend. She never got. She never shook it. I think to this day, she probably has. Like, there's probably a, a good number of people that she like has to pretend don't exist because of how <laughs> tortured she was. She ate all their butts. How does work get out? She's like, yo, tell your friends, dude. It was like Monday morning here. or whenever the next day everyone was back from the ski trip. It was like everyone was like, dude, did you hear? She ate 10 dudes. She came <laughs> She came back with a goatee and a cleft palate. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny on the ski trip. Just Free go- soda dudes butts, by the way, not uh, just 10. Yeah. Well, imagine though. Bags. Okay. So ima- <laughs> <laughs> imagine, you know, you're a young African-American. You're on the ski trip and it's like, yo. As, there's some lady just eating black asses. Yeah. Isn't, isn't that gay, and, though? And you're on the slopes. You're just breaking. Wouldn't they think it's gay? <clears throat> nah, dude. Not if you're Bro. with all your boys. You have, you have Not if you're with all your boys. No you're insight the into black sexuality. Yeah, if you're with all the squad. You're like getting your butt. Anything related to the butt Bro. in black sexuality is gay. No no black dude has ever fucked without bringing, bringing a friend. Oh, I, I agree That's with that. never happened. Yeah. But they just... Their, their balls could be fucking... Making pizzas with one another. Yeah. But as long as there's no asshole play, they're good. I think, I think, was it just ass eating? She was probably blowing people and stuff. Um, There's no way she was mm, just eating ass. Who knows? Those dudes are asking for some blowjobs, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Any, you know, anyone would. Or you figure by like the sixth dude, she probably had a pretty good clip going. You know, yeah. I mean, she's probably <laughs> she's rhythm butt pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. fucking the ninth dude be like, oh fuck, bitch, eat my ass. Oh fuck, bitch. Yeah. Man, that's a funny rumor. That's tough. I mean, it's tough, dude. It was tough to witness. Did she have like a recent breakup? She was trying to get back at a guy or something? No, I think she was back. like very Christian. She had a very Christian family. Mm. So what, that's, what mother, that's where happened. Mother Teresa of her, dude. She probably did. That's MT, dude. <laughs> that's, that's deep Calcutta stuff. All ye, all ye, my chi- all ye, my children, dude. She wearing her ski boots, just rocking back and forth in her ski boots. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> it's Calcuma. That's so funny. So yeah, How she, was your what weekend? probably happened was that she probably did a little bit of rebelling. Yeah. Got away from her Christian mm-hmm. parents for a weekend. And what, I, one person that didn't like her found out about it. And it was just like 10. It was 10 butts she ate. She ate 10 butts. She probably like kissed a guy. Yeah. And like within 48 hours, it was like, dude, life is over. Maybe she just couldn't say no. Like, oh, excuse yeah, me, right? Mr. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> I was thinking about getting my ass eaten. She was yeah. like, I don't see any way out of this. It's like Pringles. Bet you can't eat just one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah. Maybe she was like, hmm. 
This is just butthole little Caesars. Like I said, dude, they're just asking, can I have some free People are just coming in backwards, no. just fucking. <laughs> God, she's looking, she's like, I'm about to go to bed. I'm never going to get out of here. <laughs> Fuck. That's why I stopped eating ass, dude. I'm never going to get home. <laughs> I'm going to miss my bus back. <laughs> yeah, it's always, uh, it's tough. That's tough. Yeah. What, was, what was like the rumor in your school? Because for us, it was just a kid got, they, somebody started a rumor freshman year, this kid rupture was jerking off. And it haunted him for the next four years. Hey, where was he jerking off? They started a rumor that they caught him jerking off in the stalls because at our high school, we didn't have doors on the stalls. Say what? Yeah, there were no doors in the stalls. So somebody said they walked past and this kid... Did you go to school at Veteran Stadium? <laughs> <laughs> they removed them all. It pissed troughs in the uh, classrooms. Damn, so you took a dump. It was just... It, you had a... It's like prison. Trust in one another. True, yeah. But yeah... The, they caught him fapping. I don't think they Allegedly. did. I think they were just busting I would, That's balls. why I would wear a cape. I would just hold up my shit cape. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit and probably would look over at the top too. Like, don't look at me, dude. I'm pooping in here. There was, people found out, there was a bathroom in our high school that was like, I think a staff bath, but it was a solo. Mm -hmm. People found, I found about that like my junior year and I would hit that up and take. Yeah, it's a tough one to Nice pass dumps, bro. <laughs> so I didn't like dumping. I Dude, I wasn't one to dump in public until I, I think I was in like late high school. For I, that reason, I never shit in grade school. I wouldn't go shit in public bathrooms oh, wow. when I was young. That's normal. Yeah, I just was like, I was turned off. Then it was like, once I found, I was liberated in high school. Once I started shitting in public, I remember being like, I got kind of ballsy with it. Now mm. I'm back to like, yeah, if I can avoid it, I will. Yeah, I kind of need. I've got, you know what I've gotten into? Uh, I, I I I Vietnamese shit in public Squat? bathrooms. I stand on the seat squatting over this. really <laughs> yeah, do you really i do this in porta potties a lot too actually porta potties actually, i think are wise to it if you notice next to the toilet seat in porta potties is like sloped wire. down it's, <laughs> it's like the homeless like spikes so that they can't sleep there yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. that's Jeez, a, you'll i hop i hop up on the seat and hover over like this what do you hold on to loaf. like the the oh, pipe dude, this is perfect pistol squat form dude it's like yeah, it's like he's posing for like. Hold, hold on, look at this. You think I need to hold on to something? True, and you're look on this. wheels too, on a pivot. Look at this. Do you understand me? Yeah, I get yeah, you. Don't question me again. And <laughs> and you will, you know, that's nice too, because when you're apparently that's a squatty potty. When you put your feet up, yeah. it like releases some sort of muscle. It's the that it lets you just drop. It's like There's a natural no popper. Do you have a squatty potty? I've used one at Tommy Pope's house, dude. I'm telling you, I can't. I I'm pissed if I have the shit without mine. I, yeah, I can't go back to not have. I've got the up. Sega CD 32X set up. I've got the squatty potty with the high end bidet. The bidet is crazy. If I ever have to use an away bathroom, it's like I put like war paint on my face and shit. Like, all right, time to get back in there. Yeah, dude, the bidet. I, I'll my uh, Billy has a bidet. I'll just clean my ass. Mm -hmm. I'll just stop at a bidet and just. You never know if you're getting up. a massage or something. True. Well clean it. True. Just freshen up before I go back. It's but yeah, that's, that's my hot tip, dude. Stand on the dirty toilet seat with your sneakers on. But you put yourself at risk of splashback. No. Uh, you, know, you know what the trick for splashback stand is? Stand up as you drop. A layer of uh, toilet paper on the surface of the water. Oh. Jesus, dude. Bro, come on, man. Yeah, I've gotten splashback from a porta potty and it's haunted me, dude. I've had the blue <laughs> liquid. Is it blue? The blue liquid has <laughs> no. gone on my butt, dude. Just a potion of just like construction worker dumps. I had that shoot up my butt. Dude, that's like a bank robbery dye pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably why I didn't get COVID. Stank robbery. I'm telling you, man. I think that's why I didn't get COVID. Yeah, because you got the, uh, the blue, blue liquid, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I have like 19 countries fucking just up. It probably went up my into my Jesus, like stomach man. lining. It's awesome. Oh, it splashed your hole? It hit my hole, bro. <laughs> I got fucking put it on like chapstick. <laughs> that's true splashback, dude. You hit it; it hits your hole. So Man. yeah, that's I mean, how you, that's how you zero your butthole. You have to splash directly back into it. If it's off, you got to like adjust mm. the couple. It's like I sliding a scope on your gun. I got recalibrated. Yeah, that blue liquid hits you, bro. It's a bad feeling. Mm. Oh man, where are we at time wise? All right, let's wrap her up and go to the Patreon. Let's do it, yeah. baby. Start to enter. Yeah, I don't want to end so abruptly, but yeah, let's go on the page. Also, what do you guys? What do you guys want to do? What Anything you, you want to tell people? Oh, yeah. Um, check out our podcast, Dad Meat. If you're a fat gay retard, I think you'll find what you need there. And also check out my new podcast with Del Calo and Jake Matera, Little Stinkers. Uh, it's mostly serial killers, but it's anybody who does fucked up shit who also happens to be very funny. Nice. Swag. Yeah, just check out Dad Meat. Thank yeah, check that out. Nice. Yeah. And uh -oh. check out at Tim's Twitch channel, too. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. You find me on Twitch. Twitch.tv yeah. slash Tim Butterly. It's just a nice time on Sunday mornings. A couple weekends that. here and there, but... Heard that. Just taking care of people. Yeah, I don't have anything right now. I'm 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 in negotiations of a small little string of shows. 
Oh, oh, good. So once I get them, I'll uh, put what about it more up. solo casts. Are you gonna do more solo? Oh, I'm still doing them. I started an actual. Uh, oh, dude, I, I swear to God, I think I have type two bipolar, dude. I started it in a good way, mm-hmm. but I started a. I I had the idea. I was doing the solo cast. I'm like, I should do a book club, and like a, a fit of just glee, and I'm still gonna do it. I signed myself up to do a book club. The first book, 700 pages. I'm like, I'm a fucking. I woke up three days later. I'm like, I'm such a dumbass. You fucking idiot. And it's like it's like super complex like ideas. I'm, I'm I've read the intro like four times, dude. It's confusing me. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm gonna start my solo cast. The thing I do on Patreon is just a solo. It's just gonna be. I think I'm gonna mix a bunch of different stuff in there. But part of it's gonna be whatever book I'm reading. I'm gonna take notes and give you ever you know Blinkist. No. Blinkist is an app where you can kind of do like you can listen to like the gist of a book, but it's kind of dry, you know. So I'm gonna try to read books, take notes, and be able to give like a very short and summary so you can just absorb the knowledge of books you should think about doing these live from buzzman's hideaway bro i'm gonna fuck Buzz. buzzman's probably dead. buzzman probably i don't think buzzman survived 2020 oh no no nah, we're talking about he's hunkered down in paradise dude this guy he had the orange jellies out all the time he had a tiki bar he was a jerk <laughs> <laughs> yeah they don't die man. i don't think yeah, yeah true he's probably step motherfucker he's probably still alive yeah but yeah, but um, but yeah. So yeah, go on the Patreon. Go on your guys' Patreon, or don't yeah, do whatever you want. Or don't. I don't yeah. care. But just you have know, fun. I just feel obliged from a business sense to enter some stuff in here right now. Mm-hmm. So, also check out. Um, I'm trying to think of other businesses. I don't know. I think Papa uh, John's. That's a good one. PJs. Yeah. I think there's some decent sales right now. Some company was having a sale. I forget what it is. Black Fly- Black Friday starting early this year. Mm, really? Yeah, you're already. I mean, probably in the next week or two, you're gonna start seeing deals. Oh, I will say this. I do want to plug this. I, I haven't gotten it yet, but and it, you know, I have no financial stake. Original Sebzi. That's my Moroccan ceremonial hash pipe. It's in the mail. Guy was an absolute fucking gem to deal with. So, wow. I would like that guy to get very get a lot of Sebzi orders. Sebzi. It's it's like a look up a Sebzi. Whoa. Yeah, there it is, dude. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, man. I have a I have like a foot long hash pipe. It's in the mail right now. Every day it doesn't come. I'm so pissed. That's a classic feeling. That's the that was the original edging, before before you got into like cum edging, it was like waiting for something to cut, like the one time a year like your parents would order. Oh no, yeah, dude, Sebzi, bro, oh, mine cool. looks way better than that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a dude, it's so sick. All right, well, thank you guys. We're going to the page. See you, See you guys.